Hello, 1.6, reasoning to solve problems. We're going to solve problems. We're either going to use inductive or deductive reasoning. So again, inductive means we see a bunch of examples and we notice a pattern. Deductive means we start with a fact and then we use logical or logic or reasoning or mathematics to come to a conclusion. So you start with a fact or if you start with examples, that's how you can tell the difference, difference between these two. What we're going to do is Emma has a number trick. We're going to choose a number, multiply by 6, add 4, divide by 2, and subtract 2. What we're going to do is we're going to choose a bunch of numbers and we're going to use inductive reasoning, we're going to use the patterns that we see to make a conjecture about the relationships between the starting number, between this number, and its ending number. Let's try the number negative 2. So negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, plus 4 is negative 8, not negative 16. Divided by 2 is negative 4, minus 2 is negative 6. Next number. Let's try the number 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 plus 4, because we go from here, plus 4 is 4. Divided by 4, sorry, divided by 2 is 2, and minus 2 is 0. Let's try the number, let's try a big number, let's try the number 10, relatively big. 10 times 6 is 60, 60 plus 4 is 64, 64 divided by 2 is 32, and 32 minus 2 is 30. So is there a relationship between 5 and 15, negative 2 and negative 6, 0 and 0, 10 and 30? Well, it kind of, using inductive reasoning, looking at that pattern, it kind of seems like the last number is 3 times the first number, or 3n. 5 times 3 is 15. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 0 times 3 is 0, and 10 times 3 is 30. So, sorry, our conjecture is um, the, the ending number is 3 times the starting number. But now what they want us to do is they want us to use deductive reasoning. So deductive reasoning means that we start with a fact. We um, do, do our reasoning and come up with a conclusion at the end. So we're going to let n be a number, let n be that number. We're going to multiply it by 6, so we get 6n. We're going to add 4, 6n plus 4. We are going to divide by 2, this is 3n plus 2. And now we are going to subtract 2. We're left with 3n or the ending number is three times less, or three times more than the starting number. So inductive reasoning, we did examples and we found a pattern. Deductive reasoning, we started with a fact, we provided, we went along with logical or given information and came to a conclusion. Let's try this next one. We have Sue signed up for games at her school's fun night. Seven other people were assigned to her group, making four pairs of partners. The other members of her group were Dave, Angie, Josh, Tanya, Joy, Stu, and Linus. When the game started, Dave and his partner were to the left of Stu, across from Stu, Sue, who was a right, to the right of Josh. Dave's brother's partner, Tanya, was across from Stu. Joy was not on Stu's right. Ooh, I can't even imagine this. We need to name the partners. So what I would do here is I would start by drawing a table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first people. So the first people they talk about are Dave and Stu. 
So I'm going to write Dave somewhere. Doesn't matter, I could have put him anywhere. So it says there's Dave. Dave and somebody else, some partner, were to the left of Stu. So does Stu need to be on Stu's left? Stu needs to be here. So to the left of Stu is Dave. Across from Dave is Sue. Who was to the right of Josh? So Josh's right has to be Sue. So we'll put him here. To the right of him is Sue. Okay, so we've done Josh. Dave's brother, brother's partner Tanya, was across from Stu. So we need to put Tanya here. Joy was not on Stu's right. Joy was not. So Joy is not there. So Joy could be here or here. Who do we have left here? We have Dave already. We have Josh. We have Tanya. We have Joy. We do not have Joy. Of course we have Joy. This is math. That was a pun. We have Stu. So we have two girls and a guy sitting here. Um, the one thing we say we know is that there's Dave's brother, brother's partner, Tanya. So these are both ladies. Linus must be with Tanya. Okay. And then it says Joy is not here. It said Joy is not on Stu's right. So it must be on Stu's left. Joy must be here. So we're left with Angie. So these are the four pairs of partners. My question is what type of reasoning did I use here? Did I use inductive reasoning? Did I see a pattern? Or did I use deductive reasoning? Did I start with facts and come up with a solution? Well, in this case, I used deductive. I used facts. All of these facts were given here, and I just use those facts to find my answer. What you need to know is inductive and deductive reasoning are useful to solve problems. Inductive reasoning involves solving a simpler problem, observing patterns, patterns is a keyword, and drawing a logical conclusion from your observations to solve the problem. Deductive reasoning involves using known facts, things that are given to me, known facts or assumptions, to develop an argument which is then used to draw a logical conclusion and solve the problem. Your assignment for this section is 1, 6, 7, 12, 13, 15, 16, and 17. Good luck.